All right, this is Jason with the Primal Outdoors channel. And today we're doing a little bit of a hike. I got my friend Amanda with me. And uh, today's a little different than our normal hike. We have packs on, but instead of the typical hiking gear loaded in our packs, we have water, ice, and fish. Uh, we're actually going to pack into a, a remote mountain lake here and uh, stock it with fish and we're doing this we're volunteering for the oregon department of F wildlife and we're going to be stocking the fish with or i'm sorry stocking the lake with a pound of cutthroat so uh, the pack is very heavy and being that it's water and fish you can't sense down since down your overload strap so it's really kind of an awkward pack but it's not real far we do have some trail to hike, but there is going to be um, about a half mile of off trail to get to where this lake is at. We've left the main trail and we're now starting to navigate through uh, the woods here. We've got about a, a little over a half mile to traverse of basically no trail, but it uh, looks like it's fairly easy walking. The brush isn't too thick. And uh, I'm using my Garmin 62S GPS uh, for our navigation. Plus we have some paper maps with us. Uh, we got uh, a good accurate way to get there because there is uh, quite a few different mountain lakes up here and they were very adamant about us not putting the fish in the wrong lake. It ain't our legs. All right, guys, major, major disappointment got to our lake and uh, it's dry so this is uh, the location on the GPS and um, as you can see it is bone dry all right guys so I was joking with you a little bit here's the lake that we're actually gonna stock I'm not gonna give out the name because well that's just the way I'm gonna be but for those that are familiar with the area you might recognize it but uh, yeah, this is where we're going to stop. We've already seen that the lake does have fish in it. We've already seen a couple jump. Uh, I kind of wish I'd have brought a fishing pole. But anyways, I'm going to get the directions out. There's a certain guideline that they want us to follow for releasing the fish. Uh, so we'll get the directions out and then we'll get start getting these guys released. All right, guys. So I want to show you here what we packed in. So what we got here is one big bag of water and can you get, try to get close up there and can you see all the little fishies in there swimming around i don't know if you can see them in the camera but you can see all the little cutthroats that we're going to release in the lake so the process for releasing these in the lake is going to be pretty similar to basically if you're familiar with putting introducing fish to a fish tank we're going to put the whole bag of uh, fish in the water and let it acclimatize for a few minutes and then we'll slowly start introducing some water and then eventually start letting the fish swim out of the bag into the lake All right, so the fish have been sitting in the bag uh, for about 10, 15 minutes, and then we've introduced a little water into the bag so they can kind of acclimate to it. Amanda's throwing rocks at the other fish that were already in the lake because they have already scooped up, came up and scooped up a few of the fries. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna start releasing my 
my group here. And they start to go. Just gonna let them kind of find their way out. Oh look, yours are all taken off. I'm like, we're out of here. All right. So hopefully some of these will make it and grow into some bigger fish, but it is kind of cool to see that there is some fish already in here. I'm definitely gonna have to uh, come up here uh, with my float tube and a fishing pole and do a little fishing here sometime. <laughs>